Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So it's official, Microsoft has now officially announced Windows 10 version 21 H2, and that will be the second feature update now officially rolling out for Windows 10 in October of this year, 2021. Now, obviously, a lot of attention has been focused on Windows 11 recently, and there's no surprise here that, uh, you know, Windows 10 21 H2 will have no major new cosmetic changes or features or additions to the operating system uh, with the 21H2 update, as a lot of attention now has been focused on Windows 11. But this is obviously just to keep uh, Windows 10, you know, rolling, because obviously Windows 10 is supported until 2025. That's about just under four and a half years left officially of support for the Windows operating system. And with the focus being now on Windows 11, Microsoft is still rolling out 21H2, but it's not going to have any major updates to the uh, Windows 10 operating system. And although there's not too many details at the moment regarding 21H2, uh, Windows, uh, the 21H2 update will be called Windows 10 October 2021 update, just like the 21H1 update, which was the first feature update that rolled out for Windows earlier this year. That was called the May 2021 update because it rolled out in May. This will be now be called the Windows 10 October 2021 update. Now, Microsoft has given us some details regarding what will be uh, rolled out in 21H2. And as mentioned in previous videos, it's mainly going to be focused on pr productivity and security and will be delivered mainly, you know, just as a cumulative update um, through the Windows update in Windows 10. Now, there are three main uh, new additions to 21H2, which will be upgraded. And um, these are mainly focused on productivity and security. And the first is they are adding WPA3 H2E standard support for enhanced Wi-Fi security. And H2E stands for hash to element. And it has the following, uh, basically, it has the following security, security benefits. It gives you a prote protection against side channel attacks. It reduces potential side channel attack, attack vectors. And it comes with general security improvements. So it looks like uh, Microsoft is focusing quite a bit on Wi-Fi security in version 21H2 of Windows rolling out later this year. And then, as also mentioned in previous videos, Windows Hello for Business supports simplified passwordless deployment models for achieving a deploy to run state within a few minutes. And I'm reading this from the Microsoft support web page. And then GPU compute support in the Windows subsystem for Linux. WSL is also getting upgraded as well. And that obviously helps with the uh, deployments for machine learning and other computing intensive workflows. So those are the three main additions coming to 21H2. As mentioned, there's no uh, cosmetic changes or uh, UR changes, user interface changes. It's just going to be mainly focused on security, productivity, and will be rolled out as, you know, that cumulative update, um, just like 21H1 was. And if you, you know, don't want to wait until the end of the year and you're keen to try out this, um, it basically, you need to enroll in the Windows Insider channel uh, at the moment because uh, Microsoft um, explains, and I quote, today we will begin releasing 21H2 builds to Windows Insiders who were moved to the release preview channel from the beta channel because their specific devices did not meet the hardware requirements for Windows 11. And they say this enables them to instead experience the latest innovations and enhancements in Windows 10. So if you unfortunately haven't been able to try out Windows 11 in the Insider channel, you can try out Windows 10, the October 2021 update, 21H2, if you so wish. And then if you are running Windows 10 version 2004 and newer, so that'll be 2004, uh, 20H2, and then obviously 21H1. Um, as I've mentioned, uh, the 21H2 update will be delivered basically as the, the same way 21H1 was delivered as a normal update in the Windows update on Windows 10, and that will be as an enablement package. So it's going to be basically, according to Microsoft, a fast installation experience. And as I've mentioned previously, when I updated to 21H1, that was the fastest feature update I've ever done and experienced in Windows 10. So it looks like, um, you know, because Windows 10 21H2 is not carrying any new features or anything like that, um, it's going to be a small uh, update, which will just basically be um, updated via the enablement package that Microsoft used for 21H1 as well. And then the Home and Pro uh, versions of uh, 21H2, 
um, they will have uh, 18 months of support and servicing after you upgrade to 21H2 before you have to go to the next version. And then um, if you're running uh, enterprise and education editions of the update and Windows, this will give you 30 months of support and servicing after you upgrade to Windows 10 21H2. So it's official. 21H2 is rolling out. And that's mainly for, you know, if you don't want to upgrade to Windows 11 or you can't upgrade to Windows 11. So I hope you found this video useful. Once again, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.